The Millennium Creek Project Phase 2 Fish Habitat and Riparian Enhancement Program was completed over a three-year time frame on the stream. It covered the years 2006, 2007, and 2008. The enhancement plan involved the following primary objectives. Modifications to the stream channel to balance out the overall gradient the installation of timber deflectors and cover habitats to maintain a narrow constricted flow in the newly created stream channel. The creation of pool habitats to support a resident population of trout in the creek. Planting of willow and tree cuttings to add stability to the banks and provide cover and shade to trout. Finally, a number of spawning habitats were created on the creek to provide recruitment possibilities for spawning trout. This section of channel, among others, was deepened during the Phase 2 program to create a better gradient on the creek. You can see from this photo the stream banks are now quite high in elevation, up from the surface of the flowing water. The timber deflectors were used during the Phase 2 program to narrow areas of the stream channel by constricting the flow of water in the channel. The result of their use in this program is best shown with these photos of a section of channel before they were installed in 2006. This is the same length of channel two years later. This photo was taken in the spring of 2008. You can see that the channel is a lot narrower and consequently deeper. The deflectors and cover habitats also provide good shelter for trout. Our deflectors that we installed in through this reach of channel have really worked well in constricting the flow. And uh, you can see we've got a good crop of what's called uh, speedwell, American speedwell, growing in along the uh, edge of the channel. It's a trailing plant and uh, <clears throat> it's really nice because it kind of creeps out over the, the water and it helps constrict the flow. And you can see we've got narrow leaf water plantain as well growing in along the edge of the water and these cover habitats and deflectors are providing good overhead cover for uh, any fish that move into the system. You can see with these de deflectors when they were installed we uh, excavated a hole down into the channel and then uh, drove posts vertically one on top of the other to create a uh, deflector that would uh, constrict the flow. And you can see <clears throat> It's a different variety of water plantain, but you can see how that grows in and provides a carpet of overhead cover for uh, both aquatic insects and uh, small juvenile trout. And the deflectors have a tendency to uh, accumulate silt on the bottom side downstream of them and just on the upstream side and it's quite evident on this video here. You can see where the silt's been collecting and uh, Speedwell is starting to grow in and water plantain. And uh, by the end of the summer uh, again we'll have a lot narrower channel and better constricted flow and uh, a little more food in the system for fish.
the channel upstream, there was uh, water sedge all through this area and water was running through it and it was up to seven meters wide in some areas that was wetted with no defined channel and we uh, cut out a new channel with high pressure water now it's growing back in and uh, we've installed some cover habitats and a few deflectors just to maintain that narrow flow now we have really good uh, differential between the top of the water level and the top of the bank for any high water events so you can see by the uh, disturbance on the surface of the water we've got pretty good velocity moving in through here in the phase two program a number of rock and log V weir pools were constructed along the creek to provide excellent year-round habitat for trout the V weir design is a perfect choice for stream enhancement projects on low gradient streams We're about to put a uh, log V weir in a pool that we excavated and we've got the flow bypass on the pool right now. And we get a good day to finish the project. We've got the log uh, leveled and in place and we've uh, put our silt fabric down and sealed it off and then backfilled with some larger rock to start with and now we're uh, filling in with some finer material and uh, once it's all sealed off we'll have a pretty good flow coming over this apex or the crest of the raw, uh, log viewer here We have the uh, log v weir leveled and positioned in the stream and it's sealed with a liner and we put rock in and we'll finish landscaping it tomorrow. These cover habitats we put in are spruce boughs that are wired to posts and then driven horizontally into the bank to provide overhead cover and it also forces the core velocity towards the tail of the pool and you can see there's an upwelling at the tail area of the pool and some of the surface water is coming back towards the apex of the log viewer it doesn't look like there's much turbulence there, but if you go into the pool and you put your hand right below that apex, there's a pretty powerful current. And we have our friendly woodpecker who's got a nest up on this tree and his nest is right there oh he knows he's being watched I've placed the sod along the banks there and what I'm going to do next is take a tamping tool and uh, first off I'll soak all the sod down really well with water and uh, make sure it's saturated and then I'm going to take a tamping tool and tamp all of the sod in. I'll start along the water's edge and work back and compact all the sod so that no air gets into the root systems and it stabilizes. <laughs> 